Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, you probably recognize this little guy. This is the Runtley from Finch. This was Finch's first offering uh, to the knife community. And I've said this many times, they had me hooked from the get-go. I mean, it's patterned after uh, the River Runt, a fishing lure, one of my favorite hobbies. It's a knife, one of my other favorite hobbies. And yeah, this... This, I can't say this knife, because it's not this one in particular, but this model, this, the Runley, has pretty much fueled my love for Finch. It, it's, I, I'm a huge, huge Finch fan. Well, a lot of you have been asking for a full-size Finch knife, whatever that means to you. I get it. Their, their, their knives are on the smaller side. Absolutely. 100%. Well, when we were at Blade Show this year, we got the opportunity to see a full-size Finch knife. And it's this guy right here. The Runtley XL. As a matter of fact, it might be this exact one that we saw at Blade Show. Not 100% sure. But I just ordered uh, those shivs from Finch. You guys probably maybe saw that video uh, a few days ago. Got a couple of new shivs in. And Steve, Spencer and Steve, Finch Knives. Steve sent this one along. This is a Runtley XL prototype. Uh, like I said, we probably showed this exact knife off at uh, Blade Show this year. If you saw my Blade Show video for Finch. I'm guessing it was this one. I don't know. Can't say that for sure, but yes, indeed. It, this is a prototype. They have prototyped them. Uh, Steve did write a little bit of a note saying that uh, they're planning on these later this year, which is very cool. Now, he did say there will be some differences from the prototype. What those are, I'm not 100% sure. I had haven't dug i haven't got a lot of information on you know the production models but definitely wanted to kind of get this guy on the screen and let you guys know those of you that have been asking for it and a lot of you have been asking for a full-size rutley in specific and well there it is now what the difference are as you can see this one does not have a shield um on it at all you do have a milled clip now, this one, the prototype does say, look at that, 20 CV. Now, uh, the one thing about it is Finch is going back to Best Tech for the Runtley XL. Because Best Tech was there originally o OEM and OEM'd the Runtley. Makes perfect sense. Absolutely 100%. They already have the pattern. You just got to make it a little bit bigger. Whoa, don't drop that. But... There you go. There's kind of a size comparison between a the original Runtley, if you will, and the full size. It's definitely a much larger knife for sure. Love the Runtley. I love what they did. Kind of went with that. I like I said, I'm not sure this is I'm not sure it's going to be in carbon fiber, if it's going to have a full bolster or not. Like I said, not a lot of information on it, but definitely wanted to well. Wanted to get this knife on screen because, well, Spencer, Steve, they've been absolutely awesome, um, great. They've given us so many knives to give away on the channel, and I just greatly appreciate it. And, you know, they've sent out a couple of prototypes, and that's just really, really cool of them. And, yeah. I, guys, Finch is my favorite brand. It, it just is. I love their blend of modern and traditional. I know I've said that a hundred times, but I'll probably say it. 100 more so it's coming later this year you know unless barring any sort of delay or anything like that and there's gonna be i don't know handle materials i don't know much else there's gonna be some few differences but let's just check i mean we've looked at prototypes before that have changed it's kind of the way it goes but let's just see what this one kind of measures out at we got one two three four five six seven Seven and a half fully open. You're looking at about oh four and a quarter ish inch blade, which should give us uh, three ish or a little more. 
on the handle. Cutting edge is more about two and three quarters. Got a nice choil there. Very nice choil. Uh, I'd like to see that stay. Hopefully it will. But uh, grip length, grip length. Your grip length on this one is, well, right about three and a half. Well, we know about that three and a half, don't we? Let's see, what is it on the original? It's about two, about two and three quarters. So like I said, a much, there you go. I'm kind of lining them up. So definitely, definitely a larger, larger version. There's my grip. Three and a half, yep, right at about the end of that pinky. That's pretty much where it measures out. Very cool. Feels absolutely fantastic in hand. You know, if, if this if this is the the dimensions they stay with, that clip, oh, that feels really good. You can choke up on that flipper tab if you want to. There is some jimping there to kind of aid in it. Now, of course, you don't have anything protecting you going forward. But you can, you can kind of trigger that flipper tab and get a little bit bigger grip if you want. You know, those of you with larger hands, maybe move up a little bit if you will. I would definitely move up. Those of you with larger hands might not. But you still got the nail, Nick. I'm loving that. I hope they keep that in. Absolutely 100%. I really like the looks of this knife. I will tell you, this one is a little slick. The carbon fiber is, it's a little, it's a... It grabs a little bit. It's not too bad. But there again, like I said, this is just a prototype. Snaps out there really well. Very nice. I like how it closes. There's no there's no shake. It just closes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Definitely. So if you've been... Oh, let's get a... Well, yeah, we'll get a weight on it. Oh, just the heck. We'll get a weight on it. 4.9. So it's got a little bit of a little bit of juice behind it. Nothing too terrible. So let me know, guys. What do you think? Are you one of the ones that's been... I, said, <laughs> I, I lost track. Uh, people have asked, you know, mentioned, uh, you know, I like Finch knives. They're just a little small. Well, this one definitely isn't small. It, it kind of dwarfs its little brother, if you will. There you go. There's another quick look. Oh, before I do that, let's do a size comparison with the PM2 and our bug out just to give you a little bit better. Now, it's still smaller, still a shorter knife than the PM2. Oops, there we go. Still a little bit shorter. How about a lot, but a little bit. And then let's go with the bug out. So what, right now, what is probably Finch's... Oh, what would be probably their, maybe their, not necessarily their, well, I don't know. You know, here it is up against the devil's finger. You know, the devil's finger is not a small knife, definitely not as small as the Runtley. So, uh, it's pretty close as far as overall length. Uh, the Runtley XL edges it out a bit. You know, I always say this, but the devil's finger is definitely my favorite uh, to use and carry. Let's see. Kind of see here. Yes, I have drawers and drawers full of finch knives. Now, like overall length, the Roadrunner is probably a longer knife. Yeah, not really. Not by much. I mean, the Roadrunner is a decent sized knife. Not super large. Pretty comparable as far as overall length. So, there you go, just kind of an idea of what you're pro looking at when it comes to the Runtley XL. Like I said, different, I don't know about blade steel, don't know about handle materials. I, I just, <laughs> it's coming later this year, and it's going to be a little bit different than the one I showed you. That's about as much info as I got. I know it's not much, guys. I, I really, I know it's not, but... You guys have been asking so many times, and I just wanted to say, it's coming. It's coming, guys. It's coming. So, let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. Always appreciate you. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.